Hello, boys and girls. My name is Chris, and welcome to one of my favorite games to play. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I love trains. More importantly, I love steam engines. Well, it, it's important to me. Probably less important to other people, but I love trains. This should be that, yep. Now then, in a train, this is like your shifter. What is this for? I want them open. Does that do anything to the actual locomotive itself? Oh, I see. I see. Get rid of that. We'll go like this. Oh, I have a nice little speedometer right there. I want them shut. Where is it? The regular the injectors? What do we Oh, it was sand. I want that off. Small ejector. Okay. I should really be reading these before I touch them. Driver's injector. What's this? I know that. Yep, that's the throttle. This is your firebox. What is this? Let's move to the other side. Just gonna kill that. Oh, yeah, that's a seat. Because why not have a folding out seat? Okay, so if I go like this. So, pull back and pull full. I ain't messing with it. Alright, I don't know what it is about steam engines, but I'm just fascinated by them. Alright, so here's what we're doing. And in this game, because I'm on free roam, it's mostly what I like to play. Because I hate story, or not story mode, because there isn't a story mode for this. 
Um, I kind of just like doing whatever the hell I feel like on any given day. I don't like going in and going, alright, this is what your scenario is. This is what you're doing. This is where you're going. I don't like that. I'd rather do what I want. And I also drive trains the wrong way anyway. So. As you just saw. I took full throttle reverse. Or full throttle. It was forward. And I just completely said. No. We're going in reverse. And I didn't even slow it down. So the way that I drive in video games. Is a little unrealistic. I want to get all these vans and put them over here, but I won't. Now, the main, main reason we're doing this today is mostly not to teach anything. Because if I wanted to teach you, I'd go to another scenario. Well, the other topic I'm thinking of. But... For this one, what I wanted to teach people is, people complain in my town, and I, I have a feeling it's not just my town, but people overall have a habit of complaining about trains being loud and obnoxious, and they don't understand necessarily why they are so loud. Now, the reason I chose steam engines is because they're a little bit more realistic in this game. On the amount of noise that they do put off. Are these all full? Did I select the full ones? Okay, I did. But the reason that we are doing this is because when you hear these hook up, they are a little louder and we will be doing a little bit of shunting so I want to get these over here I'm just gonna put them right on this tracker right here just just as a demonstration we're gonna do some shunting I could get out on the main but I don't feel like that. And you guys, you guys don't worry. Don't worry your little heads. One day I will teach you everything. About trains that I know. We'll just apply these. We're going to go back. And you'll notice that I'm not driving from the cab. Like I probably should be. But... Um, we're, we're going to teach you guys what the main is, which if you don't know, I highly recommend, why am I not going anywhere? That, now if you're little and you're watching this, I recommend you go watch Thomas the Tank Engine. You'll learn so much lingo about trains. Okay? Now, if you're an adult watching this, and you need an excuse to go learn, let's go find a little kid that likes Thomas the Train. Otherwise, come here and I will share all of my wisdom and knowledge about trains with you. Just don't be mad when some of it's wrong. Because I'm still learning about trains every single day. I love learning about trains. I absolutely love trains. These are not full. Some of them are. Was this not a loader? We're going slow enough. I'm jumping off the train. Is it a loader by itself? No, it is not. That's okay, we'll take empty cars too. I don't discriminate.
We'll just speed up a little bit. I don't want to hit those buffers going too quick. Because if I do, we're going to derail and somebody's not going to be happy. That train matches up with one of these tracks. That's all I know. And I really want to get that train. Just because it's forward. I like both of these trains over here. I really should just grab that one. Because I'm going to be doing shunting anyway. Then again, I can just go on that turntable. But I don't feel like that. Set it to apply. Because I want to stop. I don't want to hit. I want to tap the bumper. The buffer. The buffer. Almost said bumper. But that is the wrong terminology. See, and I'll misspeak a lot. You'll catch me misspeaking. There we go. See how loud that is? See how that's a little bit loud? Oh, don't you dare bounce back. I'm putting the brakes on you. I'll put the brakes on all of you. Apply the full train brake. Putting all of the brakes on. I don't want them scooting back at all. I don't like that. But oh well. Now we'll go forward. Did I derail? I don't want to derail. Okay, we did not. Onward we go. the size of those cars I just dropped off. We gotta go like this now. I think we'll have to get on the main. Cause... Yeah, we will. That's okay, I'll just pick up a sh a bunch, a bunch of trains. Sorry, I'm trying. Some words might slip out of my mouth that should not slip out of my mouth. And I apologize to the parents right now. Alright, we gotta figure out our plan. And I will couple up to these boys later. I don't really care for these little ones. Can I hop in one of them? No, I can't. Alright. I gotta figure out where the trains are that I want to get into. Or where the cars are. The first one is off the bottom line. So what we'll have to do is come here, go like this, go like that, and then we'll have to just run it straight like that. No, we don't. We'll turn. We could go out of town a little bit, I guess. Alright, but onward we go. We're just going to do some yard work today. Even though we're not really in the yard right, right now, but we will. I could have just... No, because that wouldn't have put me on that line. I 
I took this train right here and I was moving stuff around earlier to test everything and make sure everything was alright for we for us. Hang on, is that a train? No, it's not. We'll just switch the reverser right away. Now we got switch tracks so that we're going like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. That would have caused a derailment and that would have been bad. I need this one straight like this. Yep. And the more trains you have, the faster you accelerate, the faster you accelerate, so on and so forth. But it also means the more weight that you have to stop when you're trying to couple up cars, and that is disastrous. Take it from somebody who sets up large amounts of cars with five engines on hooks all of the cars and goes gets a small batch and then derails everything. Because he rammed the cars too fast. Too hard. We might go out on the main line today. I'm not sure. I really don't plan out anything. I kind of just go by a seat of my pants. But I mean, I, I did want to address that because people like to complain. Because trains are loud. They're not wrong. And I will prove this point in another video. By using another scenario. This is Scotland way back when. I think. I think it's, it's either the Somerset Dorset line. Or it's. I think it's the Somerset Dorset line. In Scotland. Or not Scotland. Somerset Dorset one. I have a West of Scotland one too. It's one of the two. Go right. Don't go straight. I want to connect all these mining cars. And then we'll leave. That's what we'll do. We'll take an hour. Take an hour. Maybe. Maybe it'll be longer. I'm not sure. Now we gotta start slowing down. We'll use the handbrake a little bit because I get sick of using the other brake. And you'll see me move my camera like this just to make sure that we just lightly tap. Just beautiful. Forward it up. How big is this siding? Oh yeah, we're moving cars. I like these old wood ones. I absolutely adore them. Alright, come on baby. Move! And I'm gonna have to gear up and gear down and we're gonna watch me screw everything up. Mess everything up mess everything trying to be appropriate with this video so YouTube doesn't punish me maybe I can get more people maybe maybe I'm not gonna be stingy I'm gonna be stingy like one person will make me happy even one person thinking about joining my channel will make me happy Or subscribing, I mean. If you join the community, community, good, great, great. But I'm not gonna make people. I'm gonna quit talking about that because I don't want people to get mad at me. All right, we're just gonna. We'll hit the brakes for this one. 
I'm gonna push all these cars. And here's the thing. Here's the thing about a steam engine. They they have a bit more um. What's the word I'm looking for? Because you're um using different cars or different a different style of coupler, like when you're talking about. I'm trying to think, because I'm also trying to be a model railroader, too. And they don't have these. But these cars, when you're pulling and you're pushing, when you're pushing them, these buffers touch. Otherwise, these chains pull apart. So that you have a gap. When you stop, all of these cars will push you. And what that means is you ain't stopping when you think you're going to stop. God, I wish that my webcam would work. I wish I, I wish I had some different equipment for YouTube. But. I mean, you could look this up on other things too. But. Yeah, make YouTube, make another YouTuber's day. Go look up some rail fans. Not right now. Please wait. Got more to teach you. Or you know what? You can go watch and come back. I'm okay with that. But watch somebody else explain how these work. Stop. 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 I'll be honest, that's the first time that's happened to me. I didn't derail, another car did. Which means I can't use those cars. <laughs> that's funny looking. We gotta get away before... Before that happens. Does it count it as a derailment? Because, I mean, we are moving. But everything's moving as one. Can I stop it? Nope, it, it counted it as a derailment. That, that's okay. This was only an instrumental. I'm trying to show people. You quit making noise if you're not gonna run. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. What the hell is going on over here? I mean, seriously. These ones aren't even, are they? They're not connected and they're still going. I broke it. Yeah, all these cars are moving. Okay, well, I managed to break train simulator. Woo! Yeah, I broke it.
Alright, but I'm going to leave this video here because I screwed up. I'm going to go off and I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some different cars. I'm going to round them all up. Well, I won't be right back because this is the end of this video. But I'm going to go, I'll go make you a new one where I actually do this. And I succeed. But I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching and listening to my little rant about... Well, I didn't really explain it. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go back. Okay. When this buffer hits that buffer, or when this coupler will hit that coupler like they do in real life, what happens is they make a whole bunch of noise. That's why, tr and it's a lot of weight hitting a lot of weight. That's why engines make a lot of noise. That was to sum it up. But I will catch you guys in the next video. I will see you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.